Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we're going to do our first uh, video with the GoPro Hero 2 until my GoPro Hero 3 gets here. Um, I found a pretty good deal on eBay uh, for $89 for a GoPro Hero 3. Uh, it doesn't have an external mic hookup, I don't think. Um, I sure miss my M20s, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get right to it. Let me hook up my cell phone real quick and get it charging, and we'll show you what we got going on right here. So we've got this part here to pivot, and this will be the part that mounts to the frame of the trailer. So this will mount on top of the frame that mounts the um, hitch. So we got the hitch under the frame. We're going to put this on top of the frame. So the reason I made two of them one on each side is so that I can go one on each side of the uh, hitch, hopefully, uh, so that the bolt will line up on one on each side of the hitch. So I got my hardware for that. There's a bunch of little screws and washers and nuts. All right, so that'll be mounted to the frame. Now this is going to have a hole drilled in it right about there. Somewhere here, uh, probably going to use bushings in this too, or a bushing. I don't know yet, but we're going to try to make this as close to the edge of this as possible. But we want to leave enough room for a bushing shank, so you don't want your bushing to go past the corners. So you want to make it look your bushing about right there, and just about a quarter inch of uh, bushing shank and then put your circle there that's where you're going to put your pin and it's going to be a half inch pin and this is the half inch pin I've done turned two half inch pins and one three quarter pin or five eighths yeah five eighths uh, pin uh, then I made this pulley on the lathe to go in there and I made the groove for the belt to or the uh, cable to ride in and that goes in the middle there just like so and the cable this year will be mounted to the point where it's going to be like that. And we're going to have some kind of a rest right here at that angle. Let's see if I can get that at that angle somehow. Let's try this. that way but anyway you get the picture there's gonna be a, a ramp right there for that to rest on like a cradle hopefully and then this will be up like that right there you want this pin here to be in the middle of all this so This, we're just starting with an idea. We don't know how this is going to work, but basically we're going to, we're trying to shoot for this. And we're going to have to run a cable, which I'm going to have to cut this end out of this so that the cable will go through. It might miss it because it's going to come, the cable's going to come through here, go underneath this pulley, and then back over top of the pulley 
and then back to the winch. Now we might have to cut a little bit more of this out. If we do, we're going to do something like a V. And I'll show you what I mean. What I'll do is I'll drill me a hole right here, about half inch. All right, then once we've got our hole drilled, then we'll just take a cut from this corner to the edge of that hole. That will give you a nice round contour right there for the belt or for the cable to go through and then we'll come back down here and cut this part to this corner and then we'll just take a file and just file this and make it look nice so there's the idea on how we're going to do this now just in case we run into another problem, we have to keep all of our options open. All right, we know that depending on the distance between this and the bottom of the bed, I won't know until, let me straighten you guys up, you're all cockeyed there. You all got your head bent over like this. <laughs> anyway, um, it could be that much room, it could be that much room, I don't know. I, I don't think it's more than eight inches. So let me get a tape. So we've got eight inches right there. So that's where this has to be mounted. Something like that right there. And then this will be mounted to the bottom of the bed. And this will have a pin going through it, that half inch pin. But then this has to mount to something. So we're thinking about cutting a piece of this longer, of course, and put it across the bed, the bottom of the bed like that, and just weld it to the frame that's already there. Uh, this is lo not long enough. I've got longer stuff here. Uh, that'll give us a mount wherever this is going to land. Uh, if this doesn't work, then this part of the work w would basically change. Um, we got to know that that winch is going to be strong enough to pull this up. Now the reason I'm coming in from the bottom with the cable and going underneath the pulley is because as that cable's pulling, it, it's going to roll this in, let's see, this direction. Let's see how, let's see, got it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. Uh, I got to put grease in this and grease on the pin and all of the good stuff, but that's going to be the last thing because we don't even know if this scissor is going to work. If it does get to the point where it has to, or it needs help to get it to the point where it is far enough apart, to be able to pull on this with no problem, uh, then we have another option. We can do the same thing, but we can move this back further so I can demonstrate what I mean. We have this stand right here that can mount and straddle the side of the of the uh, tongue and we can put this 
or maybe even on the tongue right there I got this piece that I cut a long time ago to mount in there and we can mount the winch or no I got that wrong uh, we can put a pulley on this and have the winch behind it but see this is getting too involved um, I want to try to keep it simple I believe this is going to work um, but I'm just trying to think of other ways that we can help lift this bed by maybe putting a uh, uh, let's say we take a pulley and put where the tape measure is on a bracket that comes down on the front of the bed with a pulley on it and the cable has to come up to the winch on another pulley so that when that cable starts tightening up it's going to lift this and bring this up at the same time so that then it kick starts the full potential of this and that's why it's important to have I don't even know if you guys are in frame here or not. I guess we'll find out when we're editing. Uh, we, that's why we, it's important that we have this pin centered to wherever these two are going to end up. So if that's at 8 inches, we want this pin to be at 4 inches. So that way we know that it's a perfect V. And it's heading in that direction. And the reason we have the cradle down here to hold that up is to keep it there because without it it would fall down and when you go to pull you're going to be pulling on these bolts right here you're not going to be this pin all this is going to be pulled on and then eventually something's going to break so you want to at least give it a helping hand to start with you want to at least give it a fighting chance before you get anywhere so that's probably about where it's going to be. And that does look like a perfect V. So hopefully this works. Uh, it's nice that I was able to use this kind of stuff because if I have to readjust anything, I've got ways to put holes in here. You know, and they're already there. You know, if I need to change something, I can. But I'm thinking this is going to be enough right there. So. This is just the plans that I wanted to introduce to you guys before we go and actually start installing it. Uh, that and the fact that I wanted to give you guys something to watch. And I was bored. So, anyway. Um, it might be a possibility we can use something like that on the trailer. Uh, this was on the boat trailer that I got. That I turned into a flatbed and I've been carrying it around and this is what the um, the hand crank winch mounted to to pull the boat up on the trailer and I've got that too um, I'm wondering if maybe there ain't a way that that can be used on here <laughs> Anyway, but I've got it all tore apart. I don't, it's been so long since I took that thing apart. I don't even know if uh, I know how to put it back together. <laughs> anyway, don't you all forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell all your neighbors that you have to watch bison workshop if you don't watch bison workshop life will end as you know it uh i'm the happening place man come on let's party <laughs> anyway you guys have a good one later